And now weather with meteorologist Alisa Rafa, certified by WeatherAid for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. Good morning. We're starting out with another frost advisory this morning. It goes until 7 o'clock for most of our Missouri counties, where we're finding those temperatures dip into the middle and upper 30s for frost to form. You need those cold temperatures, clear skies and calm winds, and we're finding all of those ingredients this morning. We're still mostly clear out there to start. We've got some very calm winds, uh, not really finding any winds uh, faster than 5 miles per hour, and we've got temperatures getting cold. It's 34 degrees at Lake of the Ozarks, 37 in Springfield, 38 in Joplin, and 36 degrees in Rolla. That temperature at 36 degrees ties a record cold low so far. That record was set back in 1952. We're close to the records in Springfield and in Joplin. Probably won't hit them in West Plains and in Harrison this morning. Uh, with the temperatures in the middle and upper 30s, it is cold. There will be some frost, but we're not expecting widespread or significant damage to your plants. For that, you need temperatures in the middle and upper 20s. So we're starting out with sunshine this morning. Skies are clear. It's 37 degrees on some of those calm winds. Again, we've got the clear skies. But you can see we've got some showers just back to the west in parts of Kansas and Oklahoma. So while we've got that cool Canadian high overhead, had here this morning. It is unsettled back to the west and some of this starts to get into the area later on today. We'll find an increase in clouds, showers starting to get in after lunchtime. Then that rain becomes widespread overnight tonight into tomorrow and it's going to stay chilly. We're looking at temperatures about 20 degrees below average today and tomorrow. So hour by hour uh, we'll have clouds increasing through the day today. You could see until about noon not much going on and then we'll have some showers continue to get into the area after lunchtime. Hot in the lower 50s will be about 20 degrees below average. Rain becomes more widespread overnight tonight with some heavier rain possibly setting up to the south by tomorrow morning. And then we stay chilly with rain around tomorrow afternoon. Highs in the lower 50s again, not feeling like May at all. Rain totals tonight could be about one to one and a half inches near and south of the state line. Looking at about a half an inch around Springfield and totals less as you go to the north. But where we find those totals near and over one inch to the south and west, that's where we'll find a limited flood threat tonight into tomorrow, where we already have rivers and stream flows that are pretty saturated from the active pattern we had the last couple of weeks. With temperatures staying chilly today and tomorrow, it is too cold for severe weather. But the active pattern stays through the end of the week and temperatures warm up into the 70s. So that brings us a risk uh, for maybe some stronger severe storms starting on Wednesday through the end of the week. So what to expect with this active pattern is a chillier day today and tomorrow with maybe some heavier totals to the south. As we warm up by Wednesday, that could be fuel for stronger storms as temperatures get warmer and dew points get stickier. So we're looking at some daily storm chances and that severe threat would have to be monitored daily as well. Seven day rain totals could approach four inches. So that leaves us with a flooding concern, especially near those rivers and streams that are pretty saturated and swollen. 53 degrees today, some shower continue to move in. We'll have temperatures staying chilly. Rain around overnight tonight, 43 degrees for that low. 54 degrees tomorrow, not feeling like May at all. Chilly and raw with that rain around. We warm up on Wednesday. Uh, we'll have highs in the lower 70s with a couple of showers and storms. Storm chances linger into the weekend with those highs in the upper 70s. That means we'd have to watch out for maybe some locally heavy rain or some stronger storms. So make sure you have that color 10 weather app ready to go.